Hi, I'm Maud Leger, and this is the Realtors Conspiracy Podcast, where we crack the code to real estate success. Learn from top realtors, entrepreneurs, innovators about how to grow your business. As we discuss real estate success stories, mindset, processes, motivations, and the key to their success. Subscribe to our podcast, Realtors Conspiracy, today. This week, we're doing a special episode. I'm going to be speaking about how to treat your business as a business. So let's get to it. This week, we're doing a special episode by popular demand. A lot of realtors are talking about how to be successful, how to grow your business, and how they've done it. They're also saying about how they see their business as a business. They're not treating it as a career from an employee's perspective. So I have some tips today to help you understand how to do that, how to achieve that, and to set you up on a path for success. I've been 17 years in the marketing and media industry, and we work at Soul Right Away with over 500 real estate agents. I am personally super regimented in my life right now, but I wasn't like that all along. I was struggling with achieving goals and achieving performance. I was practicing and planning, but not really succeeding at that. I wasn't really treating myself as a business owner, more as a photographer, marketer that loved what she was doing and started a business. So it was a little bit different. I've learned how to implement regimented routines and successful mindset to achieve my goals. So today I'm going to talk about business mindset and how do you set yourself up for success. With our coaching program, we discuss different topics throughout the program. It's a 20-week program where we discuss achieving, time management, time blocking, branding, marketing, CRM, how to use a CRM, which one to use and why, listing marketing. We discuss how to market your listings, how to achieve the best, how to get your next listing from your current listing. We discuss listing presentation, how to win at a pres listing presentation. Virtual open houses are also prominent right now in the industry. Industry, especially with all the lockdowns we're going through and restrictions on how to get people in the house. With virtual open houses, you can learn so much and expand your business to so many horizons. We also discuss working with buyers, thinking as a business owner, and in processes to set you up for success and grow your business. Think as a business owner. Ask yourself, why? What's the point? What's the difference between a business owner mentality and an employee mentality as a real estate agent? Well, you can maximize your schedule. You can finally achieve the freedom you sign up for being a realtor for. Prove your worth to your seller. You can also earn your full commission, grow your sales, and win listing competitions. You can become a well-respected realtor among your peers. And the most important thing is you do not need to reinvent the wheel. You can leverage what you don't even know you already have and take your business to the next level and continue to hit the mark over and over again through systems and strategies. Think about it. Businesses get things done and run efficiently. How can you see yourself running efficiently, having systems in place, processes, scripts, and checklists, and having goals that are set and clear, and your vision of where you want to be, and then achieve them with an achievement system? All of that will bring you peace of mind, knowing where you are going and how to get there. The beauty about businesses, processes, and checklists and scripts is that you can set it and run with it. You work on it once, and then you keep reusing it, repurposing it forever. When you think as a business owner, you start building a strategic plan that will include three main categories for your business. It would be business strategy, marketing strategy, and growth strategy. Inside each of them, you will have profitability in business strategy, which includes saving money, reducing costs, efficiency with saving time and being organized, having clear sales processes that you can follow and repurpose every time you get a new lead. In your marketing strategy, you would have branding, having clear communication and messaging to stand out from the competition. 
partnership. You would partner with industry partners for referrals, for having a strong base relationship. Someone you can count on in the middle of the listing at the last minute as things go around. Having an innovation plan is part of it as well. What are the newest technology that you can use? How can you stand out with your technology? Perform in the industry, outperform the industry. In your growth strategy, we can include team growth. Do you need an admin? Where do you need to start? Do you need to grow a team? Do you already have systems set up and then you want to expand, but you can't because you're too stuck into the day-to-day -day basis helping your team grow? How can you delegate? How can you set a clean recruiting plan to recruit your next agents? Your growth strategy should be your scripts, your checklist to make everything clear and concise so that you can deliver the best service, but you can also pass it on to your next agent and your next employee. Your execution system should be clean and clear and easy to follow and replicate. Your expansion. Are you farming an area right now? No, have you not started yet? If you're not the expert in a specific area or neighborhood or type of buyers and sellers, you can start small, slow and steady, expand your farming areas or your areas of expertise, grow, but have a control growth, not just growing and losing track of it. Have a plan and control growth is really important. And all of that creates a full circle of profitability. Having document processes, expectation, timelines, and performance will bring you to that business owner mentality, will give you the freedom you've been looking for. When I talk about execution system, a lot of people get overwhelmed and start thinking that's a lot of work. I'll just keep doing the way I'm doing. The problem with that is a lot of agents are just running around trying to achieve things, but they're busy and they get distracted. And there's a lot going on. You get buyers requests, listing requests, offers, bully offers, leads uh, to generate, sales to generate. You have so much on your plate, but having a clear execution system will set you up for success. The truth about willpower and human behavior is that self-discipline doesn't really exist. In order to be successful, you need systems. Systems are more powerful than self-discipline. If you ask me, I have zero self-discipline. I can easily get distracted from achieving my goals if I don't have clear vision of my goals, clear execution systems, clear execution system in my time blocks of plan of action of what to do. So if I don't have all of that, which is systems, then I don't achieve. Therefore, I have no self-discipline. Willpower is really, really difficult to rely on when building a business. So by saying that, I, I don't mean that you may lack discipline necessarily, but you may lack systems in order to be disciplined. And that's the key. The difference between having goals and achieving them is literally just systems. We need to develop monthly, weekly, daily routine. We need to incorporate in our daily behavior and have daily routines. A lot of people call them bookends for the beginning and the evening of your day, but it's just routines. You can put your routine any time of day of the week that works well for you. And in order to achieve, the best way to think about it is plan your life and work your plan. Take action today. I literally have action systems, time blocks, really generated towards actions and what to achieve in order to reach my goals. So this quote from Darren Hardy means a lot to me. Motivation without action leads to self-delusion. That tells me that if I don't put action, if I'm just dreaming about something, it's not going to happen. I'm going to wake up a year later, look at my goals again and think, oh, wow, that was a great goal. I wish I'd, I'd I wish I made it, but if you plan it and you really see it in your head and every day you remind yourself how to achieve it, then you will. Think about it. Where are you stuck right now? When you think about your life and your business, what challenges are you experiencing? Where are you stuck? Are you running around all day not accomplishing what you wish to accomplish? Are you getting so many distractions in your life that you're not getting done what you want to get done? Are you feeling you're not really growing your business because you're always stuck doing the same thing over again or thinking that you're the only one who can do it? If you think as a real estate agent, you're the only one who can do your job, 
that's not true. There's a way for you to replicate yourself, empower a team to delegate to, and to successfully grow together. I have so much I can share. We can just get on a call together if you're interested. You can join the conspiracy, the Realtors Conspiracy, where we crack the code to real estate success, where we empower each other to grow, where we have productivity coaching programs that are weekly programs about each topic that can set you up to have a business and to be a successful real estate agent. Our master classes are designed to set you up for success, address and overcome challenges. Think about your challenges again. Where are you stuck and what do you need to break through? With our program, you will get all the support and the accountability that you need to achieve your goals. We have a great community. We have great tactical approach that are specific each week to make sure you succeed. We've also created this workbook. It's a Realtors Conspiracy workbook about goal setting and achieving. You can write and follow all the routines and the tools in here. Get empowered to get your best life ever, to get your best year ever. Because once you get your best year, you can get it over and over again with this book, following easy and proven system to achieve and succeed. In here, you receive daily morning routine, weekly plan review, and achievement plan. Everything you need to know on a day-to-day -day basis. There's a lot of information. There's positive affirmation. There's a weekly calendar to track where your time blocks how and what they look like pretty much everything you need to achieve things rather than keep busy so get on the conspiracy a positive realtors conspiracy at realtorsconspiracy.com check out the store for the workbook and for the coaching programs check out all the tools we provide interview from our podcast free resources all the support you need and you can always reach me Maud Leger, at any time to help you in your business